Hey guys, Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In this video, let's talk about L-tyrosine. I'll cover uh, what it's used for, what it does in your body. Can it benefit certain things? We'll also go over dosing side effects. And at the end of the video, I'll kind of give you my two cents. So let's just kind of hop right into it. First of all, we know that um, L-tyrosine is considered a non-essential amino acid. Basically, that means your body can make it from foods that you eat, for example, dairy, meat, eggs, all sorts of things. However, there is a caveat there. Um, if you have phenylketonuria, it's considered essential, meaning you can't eat those foods that contain that. So you have to get it from a supplement, but that's kind of more of a rare thing. I would say as far as what tyrosine does in your body, it gets a lot of press because people say, Hey, it can help with dopamine and it can definitely do that. But there's some other things that it can do that people tend to forget about. So tyrosine can be made into a number of different things. It can be made into stress hormones like norepinephrine, epinephrine, or adrenaline. It can be made into dopamine. It can be made into thyroxine, which is for thyroid health, and then also into melanin. Okay. Now, does it actually help anything? Is it worthwhile supplementing? Okay. Well, first of all, there is some evidence that it can help with a couple of things. One of which is your cognitive function. And this tends to help cognitive function if there's a stressor involved. For example, they've tested it in cold weather, in certain stressful situations, that type of thing. So it can help with cognition, with multitasking. It can also help with memory. Same thing, it tends to be more beneficial in memory under stressful situations. Okay. Now, what about side effects? We can see a number of side effects. Nausea, heartburn, we can see muscle pain. Now these last two, headache and fatigue can be seen. They tend to be more prevalent as we go to those higher doses. And I'll talk about dosing here in a second. Now, one warning I need you to know about, and that's a nitrotyrosine. Okay. Basically what that means is if you are somebody who's under a lot of oxidative stress, okay, there is a chance that that tyrosine that you supplement with can be converted to what's called nitrotyrosine. Now, what an example of that would be somebody with Parkinson's disease. They stand a much higher chance of it being converted to nitrotyrosine because of the oxidative damage of the Parkinson's disease versus seeing more of it converted to dopamine. So that is something to consider. I'm not saying it's common, but it's something to take into account. Now, as far as dose, the normal dosing recommendations are 100 to 300 milligrams per kilogram per day. That's extremely high. I don't think you need to go anywhere near that high. And I'll talk about that next. Okay. So, so where are my two cents about tyrosine? So first of all, outside of phenylketonuria, which we talked about, I don't see a huge need to supplement. However, I have had people tell me that supplement with it, that it can help in the short term. It can particularly help with cognitive function. So I do think there's some worthwhile benefit to supplementing on the short term if you want to improve cognition. However, watch out for anxiety, headaches, those main side effects that we talked about. And I would stay at the lower end of the dose, meaning 1,000 milligrams or one gram, one grams, 1,000 milligrams. Do that once a day. I think I would start there, then maybe go up depending on how you're tolerating it. Again, tyrosine should, it's a supplement. It shouldn't replace the foods in your diet. You should be able to get plenty from the food. But if you want a supplement to try it, I would do a short term. I'd stay towards the lower end of that dose. Let me know in the comments other video topics that would be helpful for me to cover. This is a prime example. Also, if you want options outside of direct and surgery, go to my website. Link is in the description. I'll also include references if you want to check those out in the description as well. So. Hope this was helpful. You guys see you in the next one.